Hey there, this is Dana Blake, and so glad that you landed on this video. So more than likely, you're already an easy one up, and you're looking for a payment processor, a different options. So I'm going to show you more than one way of doing this, right? Um, if you notice um, on this site right here, um, you know, I basically have my own page, right? This is actually on my WordPress blog. Now, what ended up happening is that I have two two buttons and here's why I have two buttons because if you have a WordPress blog or you want to get a WordPress blog maybe you want to start you know generating leads for your business that way maybe you have, the good thing about having a blog um, is that you can you know talk about different products and services that you are an affiliate of right and have them go to your blog or whatever right as your home base and you know let's say if you have any other videos you can put it on your blog not something that you have to do but that's just one way of um, you know, warming up the people that's on your list. Now, here is another option in case you just like, okay, I'm just driving traffic, you know, and I want people to get to the product. Now, inside of Easy One Up, um, you know that there's a section that says the preferred method of payment. If you don't know, you should know, you should have seen it already. Um, people have discussed it in different videos. Now, what you can do is you can use Square Up, right? Um, and they'll give you a page and you can, you know, basically take all you can do is just have it like that um, and show people exactly what they're getting. Right. Um, and then when they click this is going to take them um, to the page like that. Right. Now, let me go back to how to set up, let's say if you have Stripe. Now, I'm not going to show you how to set up the Stripe account, but this is presuming that you already have a Stripe account. I'm gonna show you the video that you can actually use. Uh, what I did was for Stripe, let me see this, I just wanna go to, yeah, okay. So what I did was to set up for Stripe, I actually went to this video right here, I'll just have it linked, okay, so that you know. This was the video that I actually watched. Now, what happened was I could not continue further because he had his own system that he was using this for, okay, that he charges for, whatever, which I wasn't up on neath him, so it was no purpose of me doing that, okay? Now, the first seven minutes of this video is going to give you everything you need if you have not started um, with Stripe already, okay? Now, Presuming that you do have Stripe and you want to have a blog or you already have a blog, again, the only how you can do this is if you have a WordPress.org blog where you already just simply go over to Fiverr and find somebody to, you know, get a blog for you or whatever. And you can just use a free thing. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Okay? That's just one option. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to add new you're going to go to plugins you're going to add new plugin then you're going to look for stripe payments you're going to you're going to hit that button that's going to say install mine's already active okay now after you do that right it's going to be in your settings area right and then you just hit accept stripe payments now when you do that you're going to see this page right here okay now automatically this plugin that you install is going to give you this page i don't think i really even need this page because this is really says automatically created for you when you install public uh, the plugin right and let me see uh, do i even have the page loaded up it says something to the effect it's like it sends them to to sends them to the page um right after it gives them a message like hey you know like a welcome page or something like that but if you have set up for them to like go to another page, they won't even see the page, so it doesn't even matter, right? Um, now, one of the important things that you need to know, okay, is one, again, if you watch the other Stripe video, you make sure that your um, Stripe account is on live, and then you wanna make sure that it's live here by checking this, then only thing that you're going to need is your Stripe, excuse me, pushable keys and your Stripe secret key, okay? Now, again, if you was in the Stripe dashboard, okay, you go to the your little account, you highlight your account, right? Then they're going to ask for your information, right? And then you just go to API keys. So, like, uh, I don't even know if I put that in right. <laughs> okay. Um, and then they're going to ask for your information, right? And then you put that information in there that they're requesting, and then you should be 
good to go after you follow everything that he had in that previous video okay and that's how you basically make that button now da, 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 da. Let me make sure I go over everything okay so all right you definitely want to make sure you're on this page okay because how I created this button was all I did was everything well let me correct myself this part is editable so instead of saying buy now you can say get a lead you can say whatever you wanted to say inside that button now you can't control the size of the button it's going to be small like that um, but you can change the the text whatever you want it to be named okay um, and that's it did I show you how it looks like yeah so like yep you know and so it's going to be linked that person goes they put in their email um, Shark is going to, because it, depending on how you have it set up, Shark is going to send you a notification, let you know that you have a payment, right? So that's, hey, bam, <laughs> poof right there, right? Um, okay, that's if you're using the blog method, right? Um, let's say you already had a WordPress blog. Okay, now if you don't, it's okay, right? Now, you can use Square Up. Now, Square Up, the reason why I ended up with Square Up is because i was looking at this other video which was on that one i think right and he he did another video but like is it he has a step-by-step -step video and that's the one i actually saw right which i'm also going to link to right this is a step-by-step -step video that i watched okay um so i could set up the store it's pretty simple okay um, I'm just going to add to it. Now, this is something you should know about Square, okay? Square does um, waive, I want to say, make sure I'm saying it. They waive, if you have it to $1,000, because of course there's going to be fees, they're going to waive those fees for new accounts only, um, up to $1,000, right? So if you have like $1,000 transactions in fees, sorry, a thousand dollars worth whatever those fees are the fees are going to be waived up to a thousand dollars so I just want to make sure that you understand that right now here's the thing with square you have to make sure you have at least a dollar in your bank account because they're going to deposit the money into your account deposit some money into your account and take some money out to make sure that your bank is verified now for me it took um like one day now i did it yesterday on friday right and when I checked yesterday, like, I think 5 o'clock is the time I checked it, it was not ready. When I woke up this morning, it was clear. It was shocking because I think they said it takes up to, like, one to five business days or three to five business days. If it does take that long, that's why I had the other option. I don't know how where you're at in your business, okay? So, look, this is what I did. I ended up, you know, setting up this store, put the information in there. Um, again, you can just easily, like, if somebody wanted to click on this, right? See this link right here? To your, to the item. So if you just want to send it directly there, or if you just want to inside of the easy one up, right? Where it says preferred method of payment that you need to put in. Okay, you can have this link in there and just have it in the instructions so that they know what to do. You know, I would definitely edit this or whatever so people aren't confused or anything like that, like how they're going to, you know, you might want to have some instructions in here on how they could pay the payment for you. Let's say, for instance, they just happened to land on this page and they weren't watching a step-by-step -step video, just, you know, to cover all bases. Now, um, let me see. Now, one of the things you might want to do, okay, is like I really like to tell people exactly what they're getting, right? Um, and so like bundles, people like giveaways, right? So for me, I'm able to, you know, give away like, you know, traffic and leads for, for the people that sign up underneath me, I like them to see exactly what they're getting for signing up with me. So that's something that you can also do. Maybe you have some trainings and stuff like that. And you can put that on your Square store, right? Everything that they're getting so they know what they're getting from you all right so i hope this definitely has been helpful to you all right this has been Dana blake thank you so much for watching this video and i'm out peace